All right, good morning guys and welcome back. So I've got Big B in the garage today and we're gonna show you guys how to find a slow leak in your tire. Now, in the last video where you saw me jacking up the car in the safe and the safest manner possible, um, we did that because we need to take the wheel off to check a slow leak. Um, this tire has been going down very, very slowly over the course of what would you say, one to two months? Yes. Probably one or two months. So it's either gonna be something very small, maybe a nail in the tire, inside the tread, maybe some dirt has been stuck around the actual bead of the wheel because we do a little bit of four wheel driving. Um, and when you drop your pressures down, um, it creates little gaps in the sidewall. So if you do four wheel driving, you might end up getting some dirt or a little bit of gravel inside your sidewall here, or you're just running non-steel, just um, what are they call rubber um, valve stems. These could become loose and just leak air out. Or if you take your cap off, sometimes a little valve stem in there can get loose as well and that leaks out very very slowly so we're going to try to um, show you guys how to identify where a leak uh, possibly coming from and how to find the leak just using everyday dishwashing liquid that you can get from upstairs that you maybe ask we um, maybe ask your wife if she knows where that is most blokes don't actually use that and just a bowl with some water and a little brush that easy so big bees are going to help us today to actually go around the rim of the tire and the valve to check um, for leaks now you can do this either two ways you can leave it on the ground and just roll the car back and forth to show the tread or you can actually just jack the car up and just rotate the wheel if you've gone open diff so before you actually start getting water and trying to identify if there's any leaks around the bed or inside the valve just have a quick look just by eye at the tread going through each little spot seeing if there's any nails or staples or like little sharp rocks or anything inside that tread of the tire now you can either jack the car up and spin the tire around or you can push the car back and forward and so I can help you do that or so I can drive it very slowly. If not, we've actually inspected the tread of the tire. You want to start pouring some of that in? Yeah. Go on. Um, we've actually inspected the tread of the tire. There is no nails or no twigs yeah. or rocks, anything like that. No, keep going. You need a little bit of more soap than that. There's nothing inside the tread of the tire that will indicate a slow leak. So we're just going to... Bailey's already started, so we're going to get a little bit of suds in there. Can you mix it around for us? Yes. So we're going to mix it around a little bit. Get heaps of soap in there. So we've actually got two brushes here, so Big Bay, you can have that one, and I can use this one. Or you don't want that one? I want this one. Perfect. So all we want to do is get our soapy water and paint it onto the tread around the corner of the tire and do as much as possible get a lot in there Bailey you want to try and get it into like the little crack just there okay. no just in here so where the tire actually meets the wheel because that's where the air might be coming out from or well, we might have found it straight away there's a little bit of bubbles See the small bubbles coming in from underneath this, between the tire and the actual wheel? Yeah. That might be where our leak's coming from. So we'll just keep going around it. That looks like where our leak might be coming from there. And we can just get around the valve stem there. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to both of you guys. So once you put on the actual valve stem itself, get a nice big dollop of it and just move it around a little bit. Oh, I think we found it. Can we, can we use the bubbles now? There it is. Where's it? It's coming up out, of, out of the valve stem. So that was very simple. We ran ran the whole way of the bead, and it looked like a little bit was coming out of here, but it seemed to stop. But as soon as we start filling with that valve stem, just a little bit, the air starts leaking out. So if we put some water on there. You can see the bubbles coming off. So that's pretty much it. Alright, so that's very, very simple. It ended up being the valve so unfortunately we can't actually fix that at home without using a time machine to actually break that bead press down on there and actually cut and put another one in 
Um, so that's something we need to go to a tire shop, but luckily enough, replacing one of these is about $25. So very cheap and easy fix. So that's gonna be us next weekend going to the tire shop um, or the earliest convenience and actually replacing that um, with a brand new one. So very easy fix, or we can put some um, sort of Loctite um, seam sealer sort of thing around that to kind of just block that in, but they do move and they do end up leaking. But um, if you did have either a nail or something inside your tire, we'll do another video to show you guys how to easily re uh, repair and block that puncture up in the next video. So if you guys found this video very helpful um, as a how-to video, please hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment of what kind of puncture you had inside your tire. Whether it be a nail, I've seen a lot of weird things. Uh, I used to work in a tire shop and we've seen spoons, spanners, um, a bone, uh, like an animal bone one time stuck through a tire. It's actually gone through the tire and actually pierced inside the wheel so the whole room actually needs to be replaced. So things like that, if you guys have some weird and wacky punctures you've had in your car, please leave in the comments below. I'm sure a lot of people have a few pretty cool stories of what they've had in their tires before. But that's pretty much it for today guys. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.